here we are guys looks like that the axle broke in the diff because as you can see i could pull this side out no problem this side is locked in with the c-clip still uh just having a bit of a time getting this one out still i hope it's not like in the diff uh the splines are messed up uh but uh keep going uh, hopefully i'll get it out soon all right everybody moment of truth i took off the entire hub just to get the axle out which seems to be the only way with these axles. All right. So let's see if I can get this out finally. Oh, let's see, I think I need a crowbar or a pry bar to at least push on that one moment. Let me see what I got here. And try not to hit against the seal. that out oh. oh it's out all right <sighs> sorry for the weird video but i don't want to drop this on my head and well there it is splines twisted off in the diff after inventing many new curse words finally got this to budge so now we can get a pry bar on it um i used a piece of wood here and I used one of the bolt flanges to pop it out. Um, but now that I have a little bit of room, I wanna get this on there, but not damage the seal. Let's see, it's a little hard to do this one-handed. All right, coming out no problem. Let's see if these splines are bent too. Whew. All right. Axle is out. One sec. Sure enough, just got the axle out and these splines are bent too. I am really dissatisfied with this product. There is no reason that these splines should be bent, period. Apologies for my empire of dirt, but been busy in the garage, so not a lot of time to clean up the table. Um, but all right, these two are my old demon axles. These have about 200 to 300 passes on them. The splines look immaculate. Not an issue, not a problem at all. These are my outlaw axles right here. As you can see, good condition, boots are good, nothing torn, even the splines on the uh, hub are good. Splines on the stubs, the inner stubs, are horrendous. This is the passenger side, bent. This is the driver side, bent. There is no excuse for G-Force at this point that they should not warranty all of this under their own money. This is, the, these have 15 passes on them. This is, this is kind of ridiculous, kind of sad, um, which is why I'm putting fresh set of Demon Axles back in. These will be my spares for the Hemi shootout, but I'm going to get these repaired and uh, these will be on their way. What up, people? We got a gift from Starks Performance and Maintenance. Um, we got a fresh set of direct connection axles. These are the new ones just released from the catalog. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing and uh, let's see what's going on. These should be uh, typical Demon Springs. Inside, there'll be a hardware kit. Uh, so we'll just put this off to the side for now. And uh, the axles come individually packaged. Yeah, these are 100% the part number for the Demon axles. So inside the box, you'll get a set of instructions with all the parts. Uh, and this is how they come from the factory. This is protecting the tone ring, which is pretty cool. And then yeah, these are uh, just like the Demon axles that I had in my car at one point before switching over to the Outlaws, um, which as we all know, you know how that turned out. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get these in the car. Well, what up? The axles are in everybody. Nice new fresh Demon axles. Um, so just getting it into position to where I could start these back bolts to uh, suck it in. And then uh, yeah, start putting the rest of the drivetrain together. Happy days. 
Hey everybody. All right, cool. We got the diff brace back in place. The P4D is good. Diff is filled with fluid. Uh, previously you saw the demon axles already in. Uh, those are good. Uh, while the car had the rotors out, I decided to paint them. So that's cool. Don't mind the overspray. That'll just uh, burn off on the rotor pad anyway. Um, everything's been torqued down. Um, so up next is the drive shaft and the bolts as well as the drive shaft hoop, the exhaust, and should be good for testing. Well, good news, the exhaust is back on and we can get ready to mounting the wheels. And uh, yeah, the diff is uh, looking good, braces on, the exhaust is back on. I'm very happy right now. Well, we're back. Took, a, took about nine starts. get up the temp yeah man I'm very happy that this thing's back together well we're driving and the car feels amazing can't really complain about anything killer chiller is working just great um, yeah man we're doing it we're doing it cannot wait to get to the rock to race <laughs> favor y'all if you like the video like subscribe share uh, and i'll see you at maryland international raceway for some test and tune action